Okay, this video is going to be a little different because I've got the Pico Neo 3 Link, the Pico 4, and the Pico 4 Ultra recording at the same time to the computer. And I'm going to be testing the motion trackers and how they pair to each headset. So you need one pair of trackers to use on all three headsets. So I'm going to start with the Neo 3 Link. Excuse the microphone quality because this is a Lavia microphone I've not used before. So let's have a quick look at the Neo 3 Link. Okay, so controllers. Get them the right way round, so that'd be helpful. And I've not paired them to the Neo 3 Link. What I'm going to do is just click on the controllers, so there's nothing paired at the minute. Motion tracker, there's nothing in here. So what I need to do is hold down the button because these aren't turned on. So this is the very first time you're pairing. Just click pair in your headset and just hold the button down for six seconds or so until it beeps. It will come up in your headset. So you only need to do this process once and then they're paired to that headset. So, and same here. Excuse the car horn going off outside. Okay, so now we've got the motion trackers. Set height. Um, I can never remember in centimeters. Thanks about that. All right. Calibrate. Start calibration. Stand still. And then look down at the ankles. Okay, got it. And that's it. So that's how easy it is. You don't need that initial six seconds or so of pairing. Once you've done that, they're paired to the headset and they're ready to go. So, again. It doesn't matter that they're at a view of the camera, it still knows where they are. Really, really clever algorithm um, doing the estimations of the hips, all this sort of stuff, squats, what have you. They work quite well. So I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'm just showing how you can use these between different headsets. So for me to now use this on the next headset I want to test, which is the Pico 4, what I'm going to need to do is just unpair them because if this headset's on, then obviously they're still paired to this headset. It's not using the Bluetooth connection here. I've not got Bluetooth turned on. They are on, they are on their own dedicated connection to the headsets. So what I'm going to do is just take them away from the new Freelink by just unpairing. And you will notice that if you do juggle between headsets like myself, then you would need to just unpair and pair if you've gone to a different headset and then back again because it will still be saved. So that's the new Freelink done. And let's turn on the Pico 4. I might as well turn on the Sparrow at the same time. Or as you know it, the Pico 4 Ultra. And we're going to test the Pico 4. Again, with the motion trackers, they are turned on. So what I'm going to need to do is go for the pairing process on this one. So click pair. And just hold the button until it goes red. On. Okay, so now we're in the Pico 4 with motion trackers. And again, that initial pairing process you don't need to do. Um, once you've done it once, that's it, it's paired to that headset and you're all good. And down the ankles, all good, just like the new three. Super quick, super easy, and we're all good. So same thing, they operate exactly the same on the new three, Pico 4, and the Pico 4 Ultra. So again, you can just use these on any of the headsets. It's fantastic. So for me to save confusion, going on to the Ultra now, exactly the same situation. You just make sure they're out of the way especially when headsets are turned on together and do it this way and we're going to grab the Pico 4 Ultra and same again I'll get my controllers bring up the uh, whoop get my controllers back hello so I'm going to go to motion trackers it should come up in controllers to be honest but it's probably because I've been pairing to um to different headsets so motion tracker pair 
and I just hold the button there's no one there same again hold the button and they're on so again you do not need to do it every time these do have an automatic sleep mode so you don't even need to press them to turn them off it, when when your headset's off it will notice that and put them into a sleep They've got 25 hours battery. They're going to last ages. I mean, they're so quick to charge and they last ages. So you very rarely need to maintain these. And being able to just juggle between new free Pika 4 and the Pika 4 Ultra is just fantastic. And it is just a one time setup to do this. I mean, it's best to calibrate every time you put your headset on just to obviously make sure. And especially stay still when it tells you to stay still. And yeah, we're uh, we're all good in every single headset, apart from this one. So what I've done here is be very impatient. Um, you can imagine the janky setup of trying to cast these things. So I didn't adjust my floor or do the boundary or anything in the um, in the ultra because the way the the boundary works in the room environment, it doesn't care about any of the VR boundary. So I've not done this yet um, after a factor reset. So that looks okay, I guess. Let's just do continue. Draw the boundary, and you would have already done this, I've not done this for the video. And we're back to normal. That's it, as long as you set your height correctly. Um, I'm probably not perfect, I'm more 188 rather than 185, but I don't really care about those 3 centimeters. I'm not that vain. The trackers are mint, they work on every headset. Even, um, as I said in review, the, the games, they were expected about 20 games on launch, and that is, it's on track. I mean, there's stuff like Ventures Gauntlet. I've already had this in my library. I've not even played it yet. That's somehow got a um, motion tracker update, which I presume is rather than move with your hands, it's moving with your feet. So that'd be pretty cool to check out. Sports Adventure, that's popped up. VR Chat obviously works. Virtual Fighting has now got the motion tracker support. I believe Final Soccer may have it. It's just it, it it's grown. I've not bought any new games, and it seems to be uh, grown. Cord coach, that's a new one that's popped up. That's free. Yeah, it's it's getting on track to the 20, 20 games. All in one sports, it's got three little mini games: um, football, kung fu, and um, uh, what's the bloody disc hockey game? Tabletop hockey. They've got that. Use with your feet. It's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. Without going into apps. On every single headset, you get the idea that they just work across all of these headsets. Um, that is the benefit to them. You've seen how quick and easy it is to calibrate and set up. I can't make that any more obvious. That is the main benefit of using these trackers because people are, well, certain people are going a bit overboard trying to compare them to Valve Lighthouse and um, all the other Tundra trackers and all this, all this stuff. But I can guarantee you, nothing is quick and quick and easy as these Pico trackers. So hope that video helps. Hope it shows that all three headsets are supported and you only need the one set of trackers to juggle between your different headsets. So yeah, cheers guys. Thanks for watching.